So the first thing that you will notice when you take a look at the back box, it is a pinball machine that comes with a topper, which is a really nice feature and it's something that many pinball fans really miss because all the latest Stern pinball games, they don't have a topper and it would be nice if Stern would bring it back, at least for the limited editions or something like this. So this pinball machine comes with this eagle and it looks really nice and it really matches the theme. So yeah, it's a really nice topper. So now let's take a look at the translite. Well, the translite actually looks really nice and it captures the theme of the movie really well. I can also turn off the light so that you see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. So it looks really nice and we have many main characters here on the translite. There is Judge Death. We have Judge Fear and Judge Mortis. Here we have the ghost of Judge Death. I don't know the Judge Dredd comic book, so I don't know exactly why we have Judge Death here a second time. Then we have uh, Judge Anderson, and here we have Judge Fire and the big Judge Dredd plate. And in the background, we have the mega cities. So it looks really nice. The only thing that I don't like about this translite, why do we have the main character two times? I mean, this is, I don't know, it's a little bit confusing to have the same character two times on the translite. I don't know why they decided to do that, because as you can see, the hand of this small Judge Dredd is like covering part of his face. So. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of that, but maybe they should have removed this image and just kept this image because then the big face would look a lot better. But yeah, that's just the way they decided to do it. And here it also says belly. So overall, it's a nice trend slide, really good artwork and yeah. It captures the theme of Judge Dredd pretty well, I would say. So if we take a look at the side, there is crummy looking Judge Dredd holding his gun and the plate. So yeah, it looks really nice. Sorry that it's a little bit dark, but I'm going to make it brighter. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. And then when we take a look at the side of the game, we see Judge Dredd sitting here riding his motorcycle and his helmet and stuff is deflecting all the bullets that are shooting at him. Also right through the knee protector and the elbow protector. It looks really nice. Also here with the nice little shot in the exhaust or muffler or whatever it's called. So this looks really nice. It's a really nice artwork. And then when we take a look at the front of the game, you have pretty much the same image that you've just seen, just Dredd on the motorcycle, only when you're looking from the front, because here you have like the two hands of the judge gripping the handle of the motorcycle and we have Judge Dredd standing right here. I mean, yes, there would have been better options, I would say. They could have put Judge Anderson and Judge Dredd right here instead of just the hands and the knuckles. But yeah, when you know what the side looks like, the front looks pretty nice too. And here we have like the button for the extra ball. And here we have the two buttons for regular gameplay and super game. Yeah, and on the sides we have standard flipper buttons and here we have the fire buttons. So this button is used to fire the ball when it's locked here by the air raid. And you can also use this button to select the mission that you want to play. So yeah, that looks really nice too. And this is the 
cabinet. So now let's take a look at the play field. But first I have to stop the video because my battery is about to die. <laughs> okay, battery has been replaced. Now let's get to the play field and take a look at the play field artwork and stuff like this. First thing that I really like about this pinball machine is the apron because it's not one of those standard aprons like on other pinball machines where it's just black with maybe a sign in the middle. No, the apron is actually really nice when it comes to the color. It's a really nice color job and it really matches the theme. Then we get to the play field. The play field artwork is really great and it really follows uh, the comic book style and something like that. So here we have Judge Dredd sitting on his motorcycle with the two-time blackout flasher right here, which is flashing when you play the when you play the blackout mode. And here we have the drain shield. This is actually the ball saver, and I really like that that they gave the ball saver like this name, drain shield. So one thing that is also really unique about this pinball machine are those lanes right here because they are just. Um, yeah, metal plates, which is something that is kind of really unique when it comes to pinball. I mean, I've never seen it in any other pinball machines. You know, like in other pinball machines, you have like those lit up lanes right here, but here you only have like those metal flaps, which is a nice touch when it comes to the look of the pinball machine but it can be also really annoying during the gameplay because when the ball comes rolling down and it hits against one of those plates, it actually is really loud. And this could be a little bit annoying in the game, but yeah, it's up to you. And one thing that I also don't like about those flaps is that it makes this whole area right here really really dark you know when I turn off the light you can see like the, the light is really cut right here and all this area is totally dark the whole outside maybe that's the way that it's supposed to be because you have here this skull and this little blood dripping right here which means when the ball goes out, it goes into darkness and it's doomed, or I don't know. But yeah, it's sad that it makes this whole area right here so dark. Then we have those, uh, I don't know, crime level indicators or whatever you call them, because those lights only show you the color code for uh, the crime scene level. You know, right here you can shoot against the target to advance the crime level. And each crime scene has the ability to glow in a different color. And depending on what color it's glowing, this is telling you what crime level it is. Then we have, of course, the chain with the nine missions. And then the ultimate challenge, but one of the main features about this artwork are the dark judges. The dark judges look really, really nice. Um, the only thing that some fans have been complaining about is that the order of the dark judges is a little bit weird because um, each dark judge is representing a jackpot so there are four jackpots that you can collect and it doesn't really go from from the left to the right or something like this because when you start the multiple and you want to collect jackpots it starts with mortis then judge fire then judge fear and then judge death a uh, death so this is like a weird order but you know it's nothing that I really care this much about 
and then we have Judge Anderson right here and Bad Impersonator Jackpot the locks right here there is also some little artwork right here at the loop also right here at the subway and also here on the plastic some small hidden artwork of Judge Dredd how he arrests a criminal and the three reactors so yeah this is original this is like always scratching a little bit on the cabinet but it is there so that the ramp doesn't get broken or scratched by the cabinet when you lift up the play field so yeah there is a lot of lights and a lot of artwork going on on this play field so the overall look of the playfield is really nice, you know, there are also stickers on the ramps, which is nice. You know, many people have been complaining that the back of this playfield is really dark back here, so yeah. But then we have the main feature, the death world or dead world and the crane and this is also something that most fans and most players have been complaining about because Bally changed the dead world before the game has finally been released because usually when you take a look at this orange ring Usually it would be closed right here so that you really have just a round hole. And usually the idea was that you shoot up this left ramp to lock the balls and then this little gate right here closes so that the balls are going to the dead world and are actually being physically locked on the dead world so that they are now orbiting or circling in the orbit of the dead world but um, yeah there were some problems with it I don't know exactly what the problem was I think the problem was that um, the crane would have been the crane needed to be readjusted every couple of hundred games or something like this and this would be something like a no-go because those games aren't produced or developed for the private user for some game rooms those games are being produced for operators and arcades and stuff like this and having a toy that needs to be readjusted every couple of hundred games that would be a no-go so they changed the ring so that the ball can't really circle all the way around which it normally also doesn't do because once a ball gets locked the crane automatically picks it up so the ball doesn't even get to the point where it falls out but in case it accidentally happens I guess um, and they also changed the software which means when the locks are lit and you shoot the left ramp to lock the balls the gate doesn't close so the ball doesn't actually go into the dead world the ball actually passes the dead world and when it passes right here this opto that's the point when the ball gets locked and then it returns right here to the right flipper where you also can instantly shoot at the left ramp again to lock the other two balls but yeah, the first two balls that you lock, they don't get locked physically on the play field, on the dead world, on the dead world like it's supposed to be. They just get vo get locked virtually, and only the third ball that you lock actually gets locked on the dead world, and all the other balls are coming into the game, like they are launching into the game. So yeah but you know there are some dead world 
mods out there, some some dead world mod kits or whatever you call this stuff, which is actually uh, there to change it back to the way it used to be. So you have like the orange ring with the closed holes and you have another software that you put into the game. Uh, some of those mod kits also come with uh, a little tiny uh, circuit board. I don't really know what this is doing or where you put it. So there are different kinds of Dead World mod kits out there and the prices also vary. So yeah, you have to see yourself and decide yourself what kind of mod kit you want to get. But um, what I also like about it, about this pinball is like there is like this little hidden artwork here underneath the ramp, which looks like the planet surface, you know, with the craters and the track mark and stuff like this. It's kind of hidden. And there's also a little artwork right here. You know, on, on some parts, really hidden on some parts where you don't even look most of the time. You know, for example, we have this artwork right here and also back in here. I think this is like a part of the Judd Dredd pinball machine that you have never seen before because when I'm panning out, you can see it is really hidden. So, yeah, there is Judd Dredd again on the motorcycle. So, yeah, there is some, some nice artwork on this pinball machine, really. I mean, here we have like the Mega City Hall of Justice as well. And Judd Strat with a baseball bat. Overall, it's, it's a nice looking machine. The artwork really is, is really nice. It's really a nice artwork, the stakeout ramp with the goggles. It is a nice pinball machine when it comes to the look. Too bad that the red color doesn't really look as nice on the camera because it's really glowing nicely in red. Yeah. So then we also have of course the traditional dot matrix display which shows you some really cool and nice animations during the game. But this is also like a really big problem when it comes to the Judge Dredd pinball machine, at least in my opinion. Because this game shows you some really funny and nice animations. I mean, the animations on the dot matrix display are really hilarious and really amazing but the problem is the ball is constantly moving so you have to constantly keep your eyes on the balls if you or you have to constantly keep your eye on the ball if you don't want to lose it so you don't have any time to look up and enjoy all those amazing and sometimes funny animations so yeah, this is something that many people have been complaining about. Uh, what I also... I don't know if I should really like it or if I shouldn't like it. It's this kickback function right here. Because the ball doesn't actually go out anywhere. So it's not one of those uh, standard traditional kickbacks where you say once the ball has been kicked back into the game you have to shoot some targets in order to reactivate and relight the kickback. It is just constantly working. So every time the ball goes in here, it automatically gets shot back into the game. You don't even have to do anything. Many people think, well then, what the hell is the purpose of this of this kickback is the ball can't go out and you don't have to reactivate why didn't they just close it what's the point of this kickback then well 
The kickback is actually used for the air raid. So if you shoot, I mean the air raid is something which is always lit in the gameplay. So when you shoot up the air raid ramp, uh, the ball travels through here and it stops right in here and then that's where the ball stays because then there is one of those lights starting to walk and you have to push this button to launch the ball and shoot the ball in the right moment so that it hits the lit drop target and yes those are actual drop targets yeah and this is the entrance of the subway so yeah here we also have the three captive balls which is also I don't know if I have ever seen three captive balls in a game mostly there's just one but yeah that's just the way it is this plastic here as you can see it's broken a little bit the problem is not only that it kind of scratches against the cabinet when you lift up the play field but the problem is when you have other pinball machines you have like those metal things right here on the apron so when you look when you lift up the play field this metal thing is actually like leaning against uh, against the back box but with this pinball machine it doesn't have anything like this this stuff is too low so when you lift up the play field the back box actually yeah the whole weight of the play field rests on this little plastic flappy thing because it barely fits underneath the back box so if you have ever if you ever have the situation that you have to lift up the play field you have to be really careful and see if it fits or you just remove this plastic before you lift up the play field so that it doesn't really break because yeah this is this is a bad design idea when it comes to operating the game and when you have to lift up the play field I don't know why they even decided to do it this way. I mean, why why didn't why why are they doing it so that it stays out like this? Why didn't they do it like on this side where it's under at least lower than the rest of the apron? I don't I don't really know. I mean, yeah, it it can't go anywhere. There is like this little metal thing right here and yeah. But yeah, that's the way it is. Another thing that I would have loved, that I would have loved on this machine, you see the flippers are right here on the motorcycle, on the lights. So it would have been a nice idea if they would have done the same thing that they did in some other machines, for example, um, Independence Day where you have like the alien eyes right here so it would have been a nice feature if those lights those two lights underneath the flipper fingers would be trans lights such as this one no not trans lights but inserts like this one and if those lights would light up every time you flip and every time the flipper finger is up this light lights up and this one too. This would have been like a nice little extra feature that they sh they really should have done something like this. It's a nice idea, I would say. It would have been at least another nice little touch. So, yeah, another problem that I have with the Judge Dread Pinball Machine is the ultimate challenge because I don't know why is it called the ultimate challenge it's not an ultimate challenge the challenge is to reach the ultimate challenge but the ultimate challenge itself isn't really a challenge because it's like the main 
goal that you have to reach. It's the main multiball in this game, but it is really plain and boring and dull because the only thing that you have to do is you have to shoot at the crime scenes because in the ultimate challenge every crime scene is worth 10 million points but they keep being lit up so like many people are doing it many people are just cradling or holding a ball with the right flipper and then they just use the left flipper in order to shoot into the sniper tower all the time to collect all those 10 million points over and over and over again because it always comes back to the left flipper but yeah there isn't anything that you are going for when it comes to the ultimate challenge it's not that you say oh after i've collected all the crime scenes there will be a, a super jackpot that is lit up somewhere that i have to collect no there is no goal in the ultimate challenge and no final shot where you say if i can make this final shot i really have defeated the game and i really played through the entire game yeah you just it builds up it builds up you're aiming for the ultimate challenge and then you start the ultimate challenge and bam nothing your only goal is to try to collect as many points as possible and do your best but there isn't any goal that you're going for no super jackpot that you are aiming for nothing so this this feels really unsatisfying you're glad that you've reached the ultimate challenge but you're disappointed because it doesn't really go anywhere so yeah this is my review of the Jogstrat pinball machine I hope you liked it. I hope I could give you some nice little informations about the game. Keep watching my videos because I will make another video where I explain basically all the rules of the game. And I also want to do like one big entire gameplay video, like one entire playthrough of the entire game. So, yeah. See you soon. Bye.